Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaru. Students, in this general science, physics, we have already completed two sessions. In the previous sessions, we have completed the topics charge, current, potential difference, Ohm's law and resistivity, conductivity and conductance topics. Okay. So after that, we have to discuss series and parallel connection of resistors and those important points. After that, we will uh, discuss the power. Okay. All this completed. So if you want, you can check in the previous sessions. Potential, Ohm's law. Yes. Now in this, in this session, we are going to discuss series connection and parallel connection of elements. So first of all, series connection of resistors and those important points. Series connection of resistors, no doubt. Series connection of resistors. Okay, that means if we connect the resistors are in series. So this is the resistor symbol now. So I'm going to connect resistors are in series. Let us take it is a R1. So one resistor end is connected to another resistor starting. Then you can say that is the series connection R2. And this end is connected to starting of another. That is R3. So if you connect like this, this is a series connection. This is the series connection. Okay, in this series connection, the total resistance is equal to sum of all the resistors like R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus and so on. Okay, the first point is the total resistance is equal to sum of all the resistors. If these resistors are same, if R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to and so on Rn is equal to R. If the resistance is same, all the resistor values is nothing but get say R only. In this case, R total is equal to number of resistors, number of resistors into that resistance value. Okay. That means R total is equal to N into R. That means resistance is increases. The total resistance is higher than the resistance of R. Higher than the resistance of R. Okay. For example, if we have 5, 4, 3, then total resistance will be 5 plus 4 plus 3. Okay. If it is a, let us take it is a 1 ohm. It is a 2 ohm, it is a 3 ohm. Then what is the total resistance? 1 plus 2 plus 3. That is equal to 6 ohms. That is equal to 6 ohms. Like that. Okay. If the resistors are same, for example, if 10 resistors of same resistance having 2 ohms, then 10 into 2, 20 ohms. Okay. Like that. And the second point in the series connection. The current flowing through all the resistor is same. In series connection, the current flowing, current flowing through all the resistors is same. All the resistors is same. For example, if the current flowing through R1 is I1, through R2 is I2, through R3 is I3 and you can say the total current is I total. Then what is the point they have given? Current flowing through all the resistors is same. That means I1 is equal to I2 is equal to I3 is equal to and so on. That is total current I total. All are same and the third point so that means the, this is a very important point guys current flowing through all the resistors is always same so i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i3 is equal to i total 
and the third point voltage across the elements is different voltage drop across the resistors is different is different depends upon voltage and current value so here voltage is equal to in the ohms law we have discussed that i into r so here i into r1 here i into r2 here i into r3 so this is the voltage drop here voltage drop here okay let us take it is the v1 it is the v2 it is the v3 okay it is the v3 okay no doubt so the voltage drops are different v1 v2 v3 are different okay and here current is same now same current so whenever the resistance is more then voltage drop also more so as resistance is more then voltage drop is more that is also very important that is also very important okay so higher the resistance higher the voltage drop higher the resistance higher the voltage drop so you can note down here higher the resistance then higher the voltage drop higher the voltage drop okay so note down these three points in series connection the total resistance is equal to sum of all the resistors and current flowing will be same voltage drop is different voltage drop depends upon resistance okay these three points are very important now coming to in the same way parallel connection of resistors parallel connection of resistors let us take parallel connection of connection of resistors okay so parallel connection means here if it is the one resistor let us take r1 this is the another resistor let us take r2 it is the another resistor let us take r3 so if the starting ends are connected together these are the starting ends na if the starting ends are connected together and the ending ends are also connected together also connected together then you can see that is the parallel connection that is the parallel connection starting are connected together endings are connected together but here one starting end is uh, the starting r2 starting end is connected to r1 ending so that is the series connection okay this is the parallel connection so in this parallel connection reciprocals are added okay so reciprocals are added that means 1 by r total is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus and so on if only two resistors are there if two resistors are connected in this case 1 by r total is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 if you simplify this one r total is equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 you will get this one r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 if resistors are same if resistors are same 
that means R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 is equal to and so on. Rn is equal to R. In this case, 1 by R is equal to 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R plus and so on. Na. So that is nothing but R is equal to that resistance by number of resistors. R total is equal to that resistance by N. N is the number of resistors. That means here resistance is decreases in the parallel connection resistance is decreases total resistance is decreases okay in the previous case series connection r total is equal is increases increases okay here r total is decreases n is the Number of resistors. Resistors. Okay, note on this point. And the second point. In the series connection, the current is same, but here current is different. Let us take the current flowing through R1 is I1, through R2 is I2, through R3 is I3. The currents are different. So, I1, I2, I3 are different. Different and depends on resistance. Resistance value. Okay. So, we know very well current is inversely proportional with the resistance. So, if the resistance is more, then current is less then current is less and what about the third point voltage drop voltage drop so here coming to the voltage drop here let us take across r1 is v1 across r2 is v2 across r3 is v3 here i1 r1 i2 r2 i3 r3 so whenever resistance is more current is less current is more resistance is less that means total constant is same now so voltage drops are same so here if we apply the total voltage here v total the same terminals are connected here and the same terminal is connected here same terminal is connected here and same terminal is connected here so that means you can say the difference between these two points is same so voltage drops across all the elements are same. Note down the third point here. Voltage drop across all the elements is same. Elements is same. That means total voltage drop is equal to voltage drop across the First resistor across the second resistor across the third resistor. If the total voltage is let us take uh, uh, something a uh, 9 volts. If the total voltage is equal to a uh, 9 volts. So across this V1 also 9 volt. Across the V2 also 9 volt. Across the V3 also 9 volt. Okay. So this is the parallel connection of resistors. The first two points reciprocals are added. If the resistance is same, then R total is equal to R by N and number of N is the number of resistors. Currents are different and voltage drops are same. So that means exactly opposite to the series connection. Okay. Completed. In the same way, we are going to discuss inductors and capacitors. Okay, so while we discuss about the inductors and capacitor, we will discuss uh, this one. So first of all, I am going to take uh, inductors. What is this inductor? Inductor and capacitors are energy storage elements. Okay, so it is a storage element. It is storage element the symbol is this is the symbol if you take one wire and twist it together then it forms like a inductor 
and denoted with the letter L. Okay, denoted with the letter L. And the units, units are nothing but Henry, very important. Units are Henry. Okay, the inductance units. Inductance. Okay, inductor is the device. Inductance is the property. Okay, inductor is the device. Inductance is that inductor property. So units are Henry H. It stores energy in the electromagnetic form. It stores energy in electromagnetic form. Very important. Electro magnetic form but capacitor stores energy in electrostatic form so that energy stored in inductor el is equal to half l i square half l i square note down this one and the inductance value l is equal to mu n square a by l mu is the permeability mu is permeability a is equal to area of cross section cross section l n is the number of tons number of tons l is the length so that means if number of tons increases inductance value increases very important point if number of turns increases inductance value is increases okay and one more thing here one more thing is nothing but here the current flowing through the inductor is taken as il voltage is v then voltage across the inductor v is equal to l di by dt l di by dt from this formula we can say that inductor inductor does not allow the sudden changes in current inductor does not allow sudden changes in current in case of capacitor that does not allow the sudden changes in voltage okay so note on this point inductor is a inductor and capacitors are generally storage elements inductor property is the inductance units are henry it stores energy in electromagnetic form and e is equal to li of li square and l is equal to mu n square a by l that means here if you take any one soft iron is also very important a soft iron core if you wound with by using a copper winding copper winding then inductance is false okay so a is the area of this uh, soft iron cross section and the l is the length and uh, this copper conductors number of tons n okay and that permeability of that material so then L is equal to mu n square A by L. So it depends upon number of turns. As number of turns are more, inductance is more. And this inductor does not allow the sudden changes in current. Completed. So now series and parallel connection of inductors. In case of series connection. Series connection of inductors okay so if you connect this is the l1 this is the l2 then in this case total l total is equal to sum of the inductors so the formulas are same like induct resistors formulas are same like same like the resistors okay in case of parallel connection 
in case of parallel connection okay in case of parallel connection if the inductors are connected parallelly l1 l2 then l total is equal to that means here reciprocals are added na 1 by l total is equal to 1 by l1 plus 1 by l2 or l total is equal to l1 l2 by l1 plus l2 so this is the series and parallel connection of inductors after this inductors we have to discuss the capacitor we have to discuss the capacitor okay capacitor capacitor is also a storage element it is also a storage element it is also storage element and the property of capacitor is capacitance capacitance and the units are farads farads you can denote with the letter m okay and denoted with the letter c capacitance denoted with the letter c how the capacitance are formed whenever we take two parallel charged plates two parallel charged plates are displaced with some distance d and it is filled with some dielectric epsilon and a is the area of the plates a is the area of plates then the capacitance is formed c is equal to the nature of dielectric c is equal to epsilon area by d okay epsilon is dielectric dielectric are also considered as permittivity so we have already discussed this in the charge na e is equal to permittivity and e is equal to epsilon not into epsilon r if you go with air epsilon r is equal to 1 and epsilon not is equal to 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter okay that means here the capacitance is depends on very important point here the capacitance depends on first word nature of dielectric nature of dielectric generally the dielectrics are you can use uh, uh, air paper air paper mica like that and the second one depends on area of the plates area of plates and the third one distance between plates inversely proportional distance between plates c is inversely proportional with the distance between the plates okay but not depends upon thickness of plates that is the important but not depends on thickness of plates this is the very important okay so they will give the question like capacitance does not depends on dash it does not depends on thickness of the plates okay so capacitor is also a storage element units of the capacitance are farads capacitance is equal to epsilon a by d depends upon nature of dielectric may area of the plates distance between the plates but that depends on the thickness of the plates okay completed and i said it is a storage element na? so inductor stores energy in electromagnetic form but capacitor stores energy in electrostatic form so note down that part, that uh, important point capacitor 
stores energy in electrostatic form electrostatic form that energy stored e c is equal to half c v square the previous inductor of l i square so that means inductor is always current phenomena inductor is always current phenomena so capacitor always voltage phenomena so here ec is equal to half l i square so if you take the capacitor here if you send some current through this i the voltage across the capacitor is vc here i is equal to current through the capacitor i is equal to c dv by dt c dv by dt that means here you can say that capacitor does not allow sudden changes in voltage sudden changes in voltage inductor case current so capacitor case voltage okay so capacitor does not allow the sudden changes in voltage it stores energy in the electrostatic form okay and whenever the current flowing through the capacitor it stores some energy or it stores some charge that charge is considered as q that q is depends upon the capacitance value and voltage the charge stored in capacitance very important point charge stored in capacitor q is equal to the product of c into v the product of c into v q is equal to c into v okay so very important q is equal to c into v so if you it depends upon the voltage across the capacitor and that capacitance value okay so from this one you can say c is equal to q by v or v is equal to q by c so important in the numericals important in the numericals okay note on this point the relation between charge capacitance and voltage is equal to q is equal to c into v now series and parallel connection of these capacitors series and parallel connection of this capacitors series and parallel connection of capacitors here the formulas are different from resistors different from resistors formula okay so if you go with the series connection c1 and c2 total capacitance is ct here not direct values are added here reciprocals are added 1 by c total is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c that's why is that different from resistors okay so c total is equal to c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 in case of parallel if you connect the same capacitors in parallel c1 and c2 like this so here c total is equal to c1 plus c that means capacitance is increases here capacitance is increases here here the total capacitance is decreases reverse okay so that's why uh, capacitor formulas are very important in the uh, examination here just opposite of that of the resistor and inductors resistors and also inductors resistors and inductor formulas are same but capacitor formulas are different capacitance formulas are different okay all of you clear so once again 
here in this uh, in this session we have discussed series connection of resistors okay so total resistance is equal to sum of all the resistor values current is same voltage is different that three points in parallel connection reciprocals are added 1 by r total is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay currents are different voltage drops are same same voltage across all the elements inductor is a inductor and capacitors are energy storage elements inductor does not allow sudden changes in current and series and parallel connection capacitor also a storage element it does not depends upon thickness of plates c is equal to epsilon a by d and charge stored is equal to q is equal to cv okay so here you can say all the three elements all the three elements of resistor inductor and capacitor generally in electrical you can say all the elements of electrical are mainly two types you can say those are active elements and passive elements okay so let us take it is a electrical family active elements are voltage comma current passive elements resistor inductor and capacitor okay so that means the elements which can deliver the power or delivers the energy is nothing but voltage and current like a father and mother like a father and mother so voltage is like a father of the family current is the mother of the family these are nothing but like a children of the family okay so whatever the father and mother uh, uh, having they will deliver to the children correct so father is the energy father is the energy that is voltage is the energy to move the current okay so father will give some energy and that will give to the mother and mother is distributed to inductor uh, resistor inductor and capacitor okay so here these are the children in these three in these three we have dissipative element and storage element dissipative dissipative means consumes just consume okay so the dissipative element is resistor here storage elements which are storing inductor and capacitor okay so resistor is like a sun so whatever the parents giving he will consume only and inductor and capacitor like daughters like daughters they store some energy okay and this is the younger dot so we have to be careful with the younger daughter always why because the father and uh, mother also give more attention to the capacitor more attention attention to the young daughter so that's why we have to also put more attention to the capacitor and here the capacitor formulas are also different okay so be careful with the capacitor or be careful with the younger daughter okay so generally the parents give more attention to the uh, to the younger daughter okay so i think all of you clear about the voltage current resistor inductor and capacitor okay so they may give the question like in the following which is the dissipative element resistor inductor capacitor or none of the above so what is the dissipative element resistance okay not only this in all the uh, that is um, in all the cases we have the dissipative forces are there here in the electrical resistance in case of uh, mechanical we have the friction friction which opposes the flow of uh, any body okay which opposes the movement so that is a dissipative force viscosity in the liquids okay okay students in the next session we will discuss another two important uh, topics that is power and energy okay electric power and electric energy okay okay students if you like my content please click on like option and also please share to all your friends whenever we have more number of students then i will get more uh, um, more interest to take more classes okay 
and one more thing don't feel uh, it is a somewhat of lengthy and all those okay once you complete this uh, subject physics you can able to solve any questions uh, uh, in any examinations okay one time preparation only okay so now alp the next one je and the next one ntpc okay so in all those we have the science is there now. so once you learn so you can give any examinations and don't worry after this theory topic i will also give the mcqs okay from that you can easily get the idea okay okay students and i have given telegram link also please join the telegram link okay all of you thank you so much for watching take care bye guys